I like sniping. I really do. If we're extremely lucky, it's a two elite snipe. What's the alternative? Do we go for the high RNG play? Why not? Oh no, it's, yeah, we're extremely lucky. Let's see. Early darkness or early cold snap? Hmm. It's just some natural sunlight in here, guys. There we go. I like cold snap. Darkness early could be something. I don't like how they change darkness. I miss the old dark. It's a very interesting choice. Of course, that was probably better for the first half of Act One. I mean, it, I mean, probably. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, if we're lucky, it's a two leech snipe. Oh, these are some great relics. But uh, okay. I'm a huge fan of blinds. I'm a huge... The defect doesn't have a good source of weekend, so I'm a huge fan of blinds. Unfortunately, this trap is worse, but... Another blind in the thunder. If we're very lucky... For Darkness, you probably want to upgrade dual cast, yeah? A deck is pretty bad, but we get two of these times if we're lucky. Jesus Christ. Okay. I can go all in on this whole luck thing. And then take this upgrade. Get the least snipe. And then if I'm lucky, I can get another free fight, but I have no life. I feel better about just not doing this. But this is a great clip, okay? I'm doing it for the clip while I'm eating a banana. If this works out, this is amazing. Capacitor and darkness is not my favorite combo. Whenever you add a card to your deck, gain nine gold. So if you're like me and take every card you see, you might become rich. I um normally love capacitor, it just is not really the play right here. Okay. Bless RNG. Yes, bless RNG, bless RNG. This is one for the books, guys. I don't know how we're gonna do it after this is done. But the fact that we got the two snipes, didn't fight anything, but we're still at 12 HP. I don't know what to tell you. Man, these are some great shops. Jesus Christ. We're melting it. Am I gonna fight a regular hallway fight at all this fight? What is going on? A lot of upgrades. I'm not sure how the deck is. That was a very interesting act one. I want more damage from Bald Lightning is my choice, but I also like the Frost. I just, I'm a little bit worried about my damage here. 
You could set the boss theoretically. Theoretically. That is possible. One sec. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I gotta draw a dual cast again. That works. In what world are we just zapping and calling it? Am I doing dark twice here? That's 60 damage. That is 60 damage. I wonder, no. The camera looks weird. I need light, right? It feels like it looks gray. Echo form, thunder strike, multicast. Uh, that's echo form. All right. Get three relics. Get orb slots. Every Pandora. All right, boys. What's it gonna be? Yes. 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 I ain't boxing that, no. All right, so there's very good paths here. That are a lot of campfires, a lot of elites. How does our deck handle elites? At the moment, very poorly. At the moment, we are not liking the slavers. We take the big old tent to the face in order to get Echo Form played? Or do we say we can win this without it because we have Hourglass and Darkness? And Darkness can do some work here. I kind of don't want to take the damage. Our deck is not prepared for a lot of things right now. Me and you, buddy. Just me and you now. Beautiful. Static discharge is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Champ. Actually, I made a mistake. You're right. No, he just. He questioned what the boss was, 
where Static Discharge is a little bit worse in the champ when Darkness is something I want to do. So you are right about that. I do want to do Darkness. We'll figure it out. I could do Static Discharge and then block. Take less damage that way because you take only four. Okay, let me see something real quick. Oh, Electro. Now we can do Elites. Now we can do some Elites. How do we like Abacus? We don't take Abacus. We don't take C-Set. There's another shop. We do remove though, we do remove. Now, is there a world in which we take madness? Also, do we want to trade in the sphere pot for a better potion? Because these potions are better for the elite. Or we see the shop first, because the shop could be really good. I'm not sure about this fight in particular. I want to start using some of these potions because... Toy Ornithopter, and I feel... We haven't got a potion at all, this whole axe. I, I have a feeling we're about to get a potion. So... I want to play it so that I can get potion received. Ayo, hey, what's up, Kyrdia? Double frost. Probably just double block. On the third turn, I get a lot of block. Focus, I told you. All right, so now we got loop plus and cold snap. Loop plus with dark is pretty cool. Loop plus for the heart and the frost is really nice. I don't have focus. Loop plus is pretty good. I don't, I don't mind it. I want more frost, but I'd rather get loop plus. Let's see what we get here. All right, bag of prep is pretty good. Bag of prep is pretty good. Find that. Now let's see what else we're doing. Probably removing now. We can also get ready for your pot something for something else. Do we now? T I like discovery here. Actually, discovery on the defect is my friend. Now nah, we're not taking storm. Depends. So, like, friends, if you have blue candle, you probably don't want to remove your curses as much. If the curse exhausts itself like clumsy, you probably want to get rid of a strike. It's situational. If your ironclad and funeral pain's a thing, you know, it, it depends on a lot of things. But generally, you want to remove curses unless it makes sense not to. In the other cases, you most likely want to remove strikes. As a general rule. This is a small little almost strikeless deck. And I'm wondering if I want a cold snap. Or am I happy with a small, cool-headed... I'm happy with this. Let us go. So... When it comes to upgrades, I'm probably doing Discovery because I want to treat it as a no-rise that I'm playing for one. Or I'm upgrading cool-headed. Because I, I just realized I don't really have energy. I mean, I knew that, but... There's also the consideration that Echo Form is so important. Case in point. Like, Jesus Christ. 
So, Electrodynamics is what carries us this fight. The only problem with Form here is Discovery, Static Discharge, and Melter is probably just better. Double Electrodynamics is cool, but I think Electrodynamics by itself is enough to win this fight. Go, go to Mommy, go. That's a sunder. That's life. Oh, baby. Okay, 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 okay. That's life. Now we can do both things. Do I need to start the search here? Nah, we don't. Frost though. Awkward. I wonder how double darkness feels. I just want to get electrodynamics and call it a day. What's the best place? Blocking for the most or doing double darkness setting them up for more lethal? Hit it, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%. Oh! Sorry, I got excited. I thought I had it. Oh well. This force field. Force field is awkward. Got powers. Energy efficient once we play our powers. Everything before then is it's not that great. We gotta keep in mind that we are worried about the champ and having we wanna just do darkness and loop and just try to block for full every other time. Force field's good like on turn three and four. And on turn three I already have block, so I suppose force field's not the worst card. I don't like it. Cool Plus is not that great with 3 energy. Yeah, long hair, you cut it off first. Hey man, how do you feel? It's a big change. You feel like a new man? I went through that phase when I was younger. Super long hair. Not super long hair, but you know, longish. Big relief. I'm sure it's hot over there. I could upgrade Echo Form. Maybe getting a Nate Shield is not that bad, to be honest. Let's go. No, thank you. I mean, maybe. Nah, I don't want to get bites. So we go here first, we go to the Hallway Fight first. Hallway Fight can give us a potion, but also can take some damage. The Elite, we just fought the Slavers, which I think is probably our best fight because they're Electrodynamics. Gremlin Leader is not bad at all. Focus Stabbing is our worst fight, in my opinion. So I want to find Electrodynamics first, but I don't want to draw into Echo Form. And we have a lot of playable cards right now as 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 we stand here. There's a lot of playable cards. We're just having discharge right now.
What's the play here? Electro first or dark? Ah, okay. Now we're getting out for more frost in the form of cold snap this time. Came back. He's coming back. That seems about right. That's life. I recently saw the Joker, guys. Finally saw it. Pretty good. Pretty good movie. Doing damage to me. What's up, not not Thomas Sky? How you doing? That's awkward. Taking dinner to replace bed. That three energy. Bonobo. Whoopsies. Okay, claw for some scaling. AKA Omega Lol scaling. Got dark for that, right? been told claw is flaw in every deck got blind plus I ain't taking no go for the eyes I like Sunder but against the champ I like the deck as is and am I not taking claw plus am I really not doing that we ain't doing it Okay, I said removal. Fundamentally, I really don't enjoy removing Strike Plus. So I'm probably removing a defense. How does that bode for our deck? Beautifully, because we got Ori Calcum. Defend is bad most of the time anyways. Nah, because you can't kill something twice. That's why I knocked out the sky. The center only gives you energy when you kill. So the event that you kill something and then it immediately regenerates and you kill it again. Otherwise, that's a no-no. Leap is not bad, but Echo Form in the event that I can't play it. Now we have, oh, I was supposed to rest. Okay, so. Now we're fine, we're fine. We got loop. I think static discharge is bad in this fight. I think discovery is really good in this fight. But either way, echo form first turn is amazing. We're taking both of these. 
Now I can be greedy, and my deck's small enough where I could be greedy and draw, draw, but I could be greedy and say, I would really like to do loop twice. Deck is small enough that I could see loop in the next three turns. Third turn being blocked, already handled. So if we're greedsters, in which we're gonna have to be. All right, so we can have fission in this deck. We can take fission now. Helps me get rid of the, the lightning, I suppose. Thunderstrike is also not the play. Fission is the play. All right. The only thing I don't like is Static Discharge, Darkness, Shenanigans. There's also a world in which you just go crazy lightning damage, Thunderstrike, right? We already passed that because we didn't take Thunderstrike, but there's a world in which you take Static Discharge, du duplicate it, and you go for a lot of lightning damage, Thunderstrike. I think right now we're not doing that. I think we're playing it anyways because we want to get out of the deck. And I want to draw back into loop, so I'm going to do this. Okay. I want my frost back. But I also want... What do I want? We probably want darkness on not loop. We want frost on loop. We want the powers out of our deck. I should have played this first. Sometimes a monkey and right now I'm a monker monker. We do want our frost, yes. We do. I want my loop. Now we're cooking with gas. GG, friends. Second Echo is cool and all, but Defrag is better. Pretty dark on loop is a little bit monka. Speaking of loop. I don't even have loop, what am I talking about? It hasn't been played yet. There it is. You know, I could probably save my darkness, I mean my, my buffer here. I can save my buffer but I lose my dark. What's the play? Save buffer, lose dark. Just keep the dark and dual cast is doing a lot of damage, huh? Holy macaroni. Double dual cast now is looking juicy. Let me see. Static discharge is getting hit here.
Storm becomes kind of good, actually. After I lose the duck, the storm becomes pretty good. Fish is horrible. Yeah, it's not upgraded. I need to get rid of it earlier. I think we should go for lead that we pushed double lightning here. It's gonna hit me anyways to get rid of that anyways, so. Now, nah, I'm gonna lose this because of static discharge is played. So now that the dark is gonna get out of the way, the, the storm is looking more appealing. What's up, Miloska? Vision Echophone Plus. Double Echophone or Fission. If I can upgrade Fission. If I can upgrade Fission. This is a small deck. Sir Theodis, how you doing, man? Welcome back. Busted Crown, Cursed Key. We want to see more cards, yeah? The deck as is is not beating the heart. Unless we do Discovery Shenanigans. We need energy. So it is going to be Busted or Cursed. I'm trying to think which is better. It's like always remove curses. What's the crown? It's like with frozen egg, it feels pretty bad. I mean, as it is, how are we doing against the heart? We want one card. What cards are we looking for? We're looking for. I mean, I suppose this could beat the heart with and some RNG discovery shenanigans and. What does it need? What does it what, what does it want for the heart? What does it need? It needs. More frost, right? Like things like glacier and stuff. We want things like defrag, biased, coursers combo. That's not that's unlikely. Defrag is always nice. So we do we do want to find some some cards, right? Defrag and glacier. So maybe Buster Crown is not the choice. Or we can find that stuff in shops. Maybe we open a non just to get a curse. Getting curses is not fun. Getting curses is not fun. Frozen card could always... Nah, it's not. We need energy 100%. Why is this always so hard for me? The crown key dilemma. I think it's just you. I'm not dropping frames on my ends here, uh, Enlister. A 0% frame drop. This was a hilarious act one. Anyways, you want to see shop, so we put a shop right here. I want to do, I want to do elites as well. I think this deck can handle elites, but... How many are we looking at? We got one, two, two elites, late shop, two elites, late shop. Or the coveted three elite. Three elite late shop. Either way, I think we're going here, and if we feel like we can, we pivot to three elites. A little risky, but.
So, lady, you have a light. There's light now. Let's go this way. How do you feel about recursion? I'm downloading from my stream is just fine. Same here, but my uploads is fine. I'm downloading, upload, not affected. Praise Jesus. Recursion in this deck. You don't have focus. What are we gonna do with darkness? If we do too many cool hunting shenanigans and we're doing too many orbs, is dark ever gonna get our taste to shine? Do we care that it shines or not? My deck is small enough of chill and cool that I get frost, it seems to be just fine. Discovery also gives me frost sometimes. The deck is very small. Recursion also keeps the frost that I do have, but. We didn't take Crown for a reason, because we want to fight these like glaciers, so I'm not worried about Quieter from the Frost. The card was nice, but nah. I'm thinking Recursion manipulates the loop and gives me more life on my Dark Orbs, but other than that, without focus, it's not that great. Let me see here. Chill. Recursion was a bad draw there, but it had potentially be better. I just I needed to get something else. Another chill for more frost. Oh, recursion just hits a lot of. It fills a couple of holes for shooting fights. Yes, like giant head. I think recursion's decent for the transient in a pinch, right? So like. Curse will be okay. Do we take the gold? Hope to get a removal and one of these three question marks and then cash in big? I'm the kind of guy to do that. We got three question marks. I'm too greedy, aren't I? If we take the re regret and don't get removal, how do we do against the elite? This is fine. Fret not. Fret not. This is fine.
I took, I took regret. I don't, I don't regret taking regret. Be a good time for Blizzard, huh? Discovery might give me Blizzard. Discovery might give me Blizzard. Guys, this is a discovery deck. You just didn't even see it yet. But you'll find out. Regret did a lot of damage there, but. We'll be fine. We might not be fine. Might not be fine. Another echo form, right? I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna die, I'm not gonna die. Ay, ay, ay. All right. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Mm -mm. Buckle in, buckle up. Buckle in and buckle up. All right, defrag. Remove regret. Yeah? Okay. Hmm. We have another shop coming up. I want to survive this fight. Dude, we take Blizzard. Okay, what about Chemical X real quick? Blizzard with the things that we're doing with Echo Form? This is one orb for each orb slot. One dark orb. I think we might take a blizzard here. Do you like these? Nah, I'm gonna save. Okay, we're gonna save. We want a potion just in case for this fight. What's the worst case scenario for this fight? Nothing, we got this 100%. The question is guys, do we do three elites or two? Three elites? And one less campfire, two elites, and a campfire. Giant head, I think, depends on the draws, but I think we should be fine as giant head. 
What's the campfire doing for us, though? Well, no, this is very... I can either go left or right, so... I get a shot earlier. I upgrade hologram, probably. So we have hologram to upgrade, blizzard to upgrade. I think this deck wants more uh, relics, though. We are at 34 HP. That's life. We're not playing darkness, right? We're just hoping for... We're hoping for electrodynamics ASAP. Jesus Christ. More loops? I don't know about this one. Getting very power heavy. We're getting very power heavy. We already kind of is power heavy. Not necessary. Strawberry key is back. This time it comes with the curse. Okay, curse key. It's okay, I'm happy with the choice. The key is very easy to block. for this. I do got toy. Static discharge is nice. I want to do power pot for this fight. That's GG. That's GG. It should be GG, but right now it's not GG just yet. Right, if I play more of this, then I'm getting way too many powers, right? That helps if I get my buffer and stuff like that. I'm taking too much damage right now. Holy. Okay, that's a defrag. Where's my frost? Where's my frost? I need to play heat sinks. I didn't get buffer. You didn't get me buffer. I need Cold Snap. I 
I need to draw blind. Oh, it's already blinded. Uh. Hmm. I can find cold snap. If I play a power, I'm not gonna get to play the attack part. That's the only problem. What is going on, Silo? Fret not, we're fine. Fret not, we are f I need some frost. And I want it now. We found our frost. I have 20,000 ways to win. I've got 20,000 ways to win. So let's just win. All right, so if I get rid of all my lightning, you know, Blizzard is scaling, all right? Blizzard is scaling. It's a bit annoying. Oh, snap that. We can't get self repair from these things anymore. They patched it out. They patched out all forms of infinite self healing stuff because of. Uh, they didn't like the gameplay of that. So we can no longer high roll and do Reaper, self repair, bandage up, anything. Any, any of the. They took all of it out. What's up, Terry? So we gotta rest. Yeah, just worst case scenario. Or are we saying, listen, Giant Head was probably one of the worst. Reptile Mentor. Is equally bad to be honest. Birdfish urn is still a thing, so you can still do birdfish urn. That is still a thing. If I rest, then I can't upgrade hologram, and I have to go into this with just. I say I don't rest, right? Let me upgrade hologram. We have the high roll into Reptile. I mean, we have electrodynamics. That's part of the battle, and then we have buffer. So we have buffer plus we have electrodynamics. We have a lot of good tools for the Reptile Mentor. You can still dual wield Reaper, but you can't get things from like Dead Branch, from Magnetism, from Creative AI, anything, any kind of shenanigans that used to give you healing stuff, they removed it. Yeah, I know I got a recall. That's why I got a rest. <laughs> wow, full. Okay. Well, I like medkit a lot. The only thing I don't like about medkit is that when you use medkit with echo form, it exhausts the wound or whatever twice, which I understand is, but. I mean, that's not something to worry about right now, honestly. I, I still think Mike is useful here. Emo Bobo sure thanks for the follow. We're probably removing the decay, yeah? Yeah, we just want to exhaust him first, exactly. We're probably removing the decay. I do like Waffle. I mean, Medkit. The deck is kind of small. We could save for Act 4 Shop. Mech is just generally useful against Act 4 Elite, against Reptomancer, and against the Heart. 
It's also good against time eater as well. Medkit is just really good. But if I could save money for another shop, for another relic, would I do? Would I rather get another relic? The deck is small enough for I think medkit. I like it. Let's go. I have liquid memories. So I could do Blizzard again here. Probably want to. I can hologram recursion, then do Blizzard. I'd probably rather do this. Take a little bit of damage here. Is there a way to full block? I can full block with hologram. Dual cast hologram, dual cast. Or I could just do melter on one of the guys. What's the advantage of full blocking? I get one less wound. Uh, full blocking, okay. If I don't full block, I get one more wound. I get one less wound. If I full block... Sorry, I won't say it. Double the pulse, I'm just sure that this guy guarantees dead. Otherwise, it's RNG. Holy shit. Mule ticket's not bad. Oh god, another buffer. What? Man, buffer is so good. How do I not take buffer? So many powers. Buffer plus is really good. So we don't want to see awaken one. That's just the only thing. Let's pray we don't hit awaken one. 
My first battle is the heartbeat of death. That's true. But you can also play around it so that you block and save Buffer for the big hit, you know. Buffer is a bag of RNG because you either block a big hit or you get the multi hit and Buffer doesn't do anything. It's really good against Act 4 Elite. It also depends because there's multi hits there as well. It's, yeah. it's good against this Donu Deca fight. Not that good against the Awakened one. Decent against the Time Eater. I mean, I think there's more cases where the buffer's just good here. The deck is also 27 cards, making it 28, getting to a power that's not necessarily making or breaking it. I like it. Alright. Jeez. Wasting the hologram. Hi. <laughs> Alrighty. Melter. Feels good. Alright guys, got no healing, time to go into the tank, let's get some water for this fight. There's never a world in which you're greedy and saying, I'm gonna save this defrag to get echo form on it, right? If anything, you'd rather just let discovery hopefully give you luck in that way. Yes, nothing's that side of character. All right. I'm so tempted. I am so tempted. Okay. I want to save the buffer, but I also want to play loop now. It's probably better to save the buffer though. Loop now is really killing them really quickly though. I guess we can always bring loop back. What if we just do attack potion and get like a cold snap? You guys know what I mean? I want to play both of these powers. Is it worth it to lose one buffer to get loop out now? Let's see what this gives us. It's kind of like a waste. That's my bad. All right, whatever. We don't have Echo Form out. We have two Echo Forms. We haven't drawn a single one. That's troublesome.
Real troublesome. Uh, I really want to do cool headed. I also want to do discovery. Discovery is just better, honestly. It's just better. It's just better. It's just better. Let's go. GG. So now we just hope that we don't hit. Little Miss Sunshine Awaken one. I didn't want to get rid of- I want to get lightning out here. I, I don't want to get rid of my darkness. I want to just get lightning out right now. That's not what I want to be doing. Pick up one of your monitors for 100 bucks. Nice, man. They're good monitors. Trying to get darkness, right? No, it's not. It's a different mic, different mic, different um. I'm a different setup right now. Different camera, different mic at the moment. Not having the frost on loop is a little bit sucky. Oh shit, Tempest. I could have waited, honestly. It's okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> that damage doesn't seem worth it. Awkward timing. I would like to do defrag after the fact. With th two echo forms in the deck and a hologram, I feel like not doing defrag now it seems okay. Because defrag twice is twice as good. And we have hologram and echo form coming up. He doesn't like company. Wait, too many echo forms at the time is not that great. Now that is beautiful. 
Now that's beautiful. Nice. Okay. This is a win. This is a win. That much I can say. This is a win. A win for today. I want to say buffer. The bird's on his hair, dude. <laughs> yeah, my hair is crazy today, guys. Look, just go to your barber and say, I want what that guy, the opposite of what that guy has, and then you'll get a good haircut, all right? Use me as reference. Fuck me up in the opposite way of that guy. Um, what's up, Harry? Losing buffer anyways. Now what? <laughs> I, that form's a little awkward, but let's do this. Yes. Oh man, that's crazy, isn't it? That's ballsy. If I don't do... Wait, how, he's getting up to two, yeah? Between 36? This is probably worth it to play. Unless we want to play Creative Ed twice. If we want to play this twice, and then we can hold on. We'll just outscale him. I, I did not need a block, my bad. But this gives me energy, so it's not, not the worst. I want to get Electro Dynamics out of my deck, but I also want to keep my Frost. But I'm thinking I just do Electro Dynamics now. Because we're going to draw back into Frost. And we have buffers. I kind of want to do a lot of damage as well. There's our frost. Ah, this is fine. I want to get rid of slime, but it actually takes up two cards, so it just. That's awkward. All right, so we should be fine, yeah? A lot of strength. This guy's got a lot of strength. I've got a lot of focus and a lot of buffers.
All right. We'll beat him now. Can I just like... What are we upgrading? Hologram or Blizzard? Blizzard's pretty good against the Elite right now. But so is Electrodynamics. Hologram is probably better for the heart to have more recursion. But Blizzard's also scaling for the heart because I need damage. Ah, too late. Stuff repair is not the play. Potions, we do want. So, Gambler's Brew is pretty good in turn two of the Elite. There's also a world in which we get Speed Pot and Core Surge from Discovery and get a lot of dexterity. But I think Gambler's Brew covers more options. He says, I used to be like you. Okay. Did I get anything in Black Friday? No, I did not. But there's Cyber Monday, right? I might, I might take advantage of Cyber Monday. We'll see. I think the Black Friday thing is crazy, honestly. I don't quite get it. You won't find me at Walmart trampling people. It's not my style. Cyber Monday is where it's at. Okay, so I can get full blocker to retain my buffer. So let's do that. Do I want to keep Frost? No. You need a mod for fight the shopkeeper. Okay, 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 okay. One second. One second, guys. Okay. Gambler's Brew does how much for us here? Very little. These are the two powers I need to play in this fight. So we're taking 20 damage. That's not too bad. Taking 20 damage. It's not too bad. If 20 damage in this elite fight, I can live with it. I mean, what is Gambler really gonna give us? What's the best case scenario? Absolutely. We take 20, we take 20, we take 20. We take 30, we take 30. Yeah, we take 30, you're right. Uh, 30 damage is a little bit worse. I'm gonna use the bathroom and think about this. I'll be right back. Gotta use the bathroom. Okay, so taking 30, living with that, moving on, right? That's life kind of thing. Look, we have potions to heal back up. Just slightly. 30 ain't the worst. Now here is a little bit. It's probably Echo Form again. 
It's probably Echo from again in Cold Snap. That is a lot of damage, though. A buffer goes a long way here, right? Alright, so now we want to do... There's never a world in which I can maintain the buffer. I can't say that was the optimal play. That discovery. I'm not having echo form now. Now I'm getting punished for not having echo form. Hmm. This face. If I get a holler him again, so then I then I bring back charge battery. Is that what I'm doing? Holler him again. Shit on a stick. I wonder if we are gambling these three. I mean, Luke is very good though. But I don't want to take this much damage. This is awkward. We're taking nine damage only. All right, we're taking nine damage only. Let's put it into perspective. We're only taking nine damage. And then we should win the fight, yeah? Surely now we win the fight? Okay, go play, not bad. 
All right. Okay, static discharge, chaos, or claw. I'm not taking the claw. We can say that much. Static is a very good tool against the heart for damage. But do I want a second one? I want to draw into these cards first. Chaos, I'm not taking it. This looks like a pretty good skip, skip. 37 life in a dream. Echo form first turn. Echo form leap to be exact. Loop, I mean. All right. So there is a world in which we do echo form, loop, blind, dual cast. That makes me take one, two, three, okay, eight damage. And then I do chill, 10 damage, 10 damage, just to get my two powers out, to get him weakened and get chill on loop. We're taking 10 damage to get both powers out, chill on loop and on gold plated. Sound like a good, good trade? We'll see. Double this defrag is a start. Big, big start. Okay. We have charge battery with hologram charge battery into discovery. This is 12 block right now. Hologram feels very bad right now, but we have 12 block. It's 2, 14 plus 12. Okay, 26 block. And then Discovery might give us something else. It's probably better to bring back the Weaken for next turn. So then we get less block, but we get Weaken for next turn. See what Discovery gives us. Whoa. I want to get rid of the wound, but right now I'm not in a position to do so. AI or plane? I just have very little life right now. Make sure we have good block because we have Captain's Wheel. I mean, I could block better here, but... So the weaken makes next turn not as bad. So what if... I say, like, I have Captain's Wheel, I have Gambler's Brew, maybe I try to look for a buffer in favor of blocking more this turn. However little more it is. So that's as good as it gets. Now I can get rid of wounds. Is it important to get rid of the wounds? Is two damage now important? For better draws in the future. I think once we're in the future, we have echo forms, we have creative AI stuff. We're already strong enough that we don't care as much about wounds. I think we should get rid of it. I can't play electric because I'm losing my frost. 
I mean, I could play it. I just gotta get Frost back. It makes it awkward because the beat of death. Like, we want to keep our Frost, but we want to get Electro out of the deck. in this fight because if it's a multi-hit the buffer is not as important let's be real Danny Fantas how you doing all right so the only problem is I really got to get rid of this lightning because then we're gonna have loop like I like loop number two and I like double frost as well like, Double Loop is really nice. Double Frost is also really nice. It's important for us to big hit before it, I agree. We have another buffer coming up for the big hit. No, we're wasting... Mm. A second Static, I guess I don't need. But if I see Echo Form, I'm just gonna play Echo Form straight up and then I have no Frosts. I'm letting you know, if I see Echo from I'm playing it. But if I have multi-hit next turn, I'm dead. So I need to make sure next turn I'm not dead to multi-hit. Uh, so we gotta get set up Frost now. Look, if multi-hit comes, I'm dead. And we need to have Frost right now. So I played Cold Snap twice. I play Loop. I guess. This is my fault for getting Electro out of the deck, but now that Electro's out of the deck, it, I'm, I'm better off for it. Okay, now this is really scary because if I hit buffer, it sucks. But sometimes that, that just happens. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that just happens. That just happens. I think this is fine. Can we take this out of the deck? The deck's small enough that we want to. The deck's small enough that we want to. There's a chance we just... No, I think we're fine. It was multi-hit anyways. I mean, we didn't know that at the time, but... I'm not gonna have damage. Like a part of me wants to play darkness, I'm wondering I'm not gonna have damage. We got we Yeah, I know I, I wasn't I can't play it from there. We get blind, blind, and then blind. Thank you. 
Where's my glacier? I never had glacier in my deck. That was all a discovery. Oh my lord. I need to add up on discovery more often. This... I can buffer here. I should probably buffer here. I could double it, but buffer is not as good with the beat death and with the, uh, the multi hits. I should probably just buffer now. That gives me time to stack up my dark. I can recursion the frost and stack up my dark. The only problem with that is that getting frost off loop means the beat is much more detrimental. Curse is a little new, yeah. What's up, little gaming? Little R gaming, yeah. It's uh, now the new curse spell. Is that Gondo? Should I play buffer now then? How much block could I get if I weaken? So are we ever recursion for darkness here? Because we want damage, right? I still haven't played Creative AI, so we're not scaling upwards. But I, I need the block to play cards. I need the block here. Fuck. I really want to draw. Oh, Creative Eyes out. What am I talking about? Sorry, Creative Eyes out. Stupid me, Cindy. I need Frost on loop. One, two, three. No. Then I don't, but if I don't see Echo Home again, that's probably really bad, right? Like, this gives me some decent damage. I could channel three orbs here, but if I don't draw Echo Home again, we kind of... We want to get Echo Home out ASAP, right? Like, I can go whole dark, cool headed And then I get... Frost back on the front. So we don't do cool headed then, right? We just do like electro cold snap. No, I can't do that. 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 I, ha I had to. I can't do this one. Uh, what if we just pass and just wait for Echo Form here and hope that we hit a big hit next turn and that buffer block that? I think that's what we gotta do. Because Cold Snap Dark Quit is the other option, but I wanted to play Echo Form ASAP. So I'm gonna do this, hope that we get Echo Form and he's big hit. Alright. Okay. I think we can win now. Okay. Okay, so let's start playing stuff. Now we need damage. We focus on damage. So next turn is a multi-hit. And 
he's not weakened at the moment. It's probably best to just do this, get energy next turn and see what we get. Almost did it, almost just protect the buffer, but. She got the blinds. It's probably better to do heat sinks, right? See what we draw. I still have to block a lot here. Still a lot of blocking. Make sure the follow deep and fries. So. I could do recursion and get some damage here. Recursion gives me some damage. And then I could do cool headed blinds. It's probably a play. Because I gotta prioritize damage as well, yeah? Unless we also think we want to loop twice. We only need to block for 60, so I guess I can do the math, but. I'm only getting three block out of recursion. And I'm only getting. 14 block out of leap twice. So what did we play so far? We played heat sinks, and that's it. We still have two echo forms right now. So I can play leap, leap recursion, recursion. Dark can only do 200 max damage. So putting dark in front is not worth it because you want to play with cards constantly. So you want frost on front for both loop and go play it. But I still have two echo forms, right? I wish I had a counter somewhere. If I do, then I'm doing leap, leap, recursion, recursion, cool headed blinds. Cool headed twice also gets more card draw, just more options. Okay, so right now we currently have. 47 block. Plus 19 HP, we're still alive. I think it's worth it to do discovery here. Hey, welcome to the stream, man. If worst case scenario discovery doesn't kill us. Multicast, interesting. That blocks for more, preserves more life here. But it also dumps okay, dumps all my energy. Turbo heat sinks can give us more longevity. So we draw into potentially. If I do turbo and then I do heat sinks, I could draw into more block. I could do a hologram, which can give us more block yet again. So there's potential for like turbo heat sinks, keep the turn going. But each card to play is three block gone. So that's turbo is gone for three. Hologram is only two block. I actually get negative block by playing turbo hologram. I need to do hologram on a, on a block card because heat sinks is also negative three block. So all of those are leading to negative block. So this might be a turn where I do multicast on the frost to just save my life. But that gets rid of gold plated value. But when it does, it puts gold plated on the on the dark or and that could be my source of damage. But then I'm not gonna have frost on loop. So I don't think we wanna get rid of frost on loop. One thing that doesn't feel like the play in my opinion because I'm already getting an extra six block from gold plated without doing anything, without playing any cards. Okay, I guess gold plated makes dark bigger and then that loop on dark gives me a lot of damage, which we kind of kind of need right now. But I can't really play cards, so it would be so low in life. I can never do more than 200 damage a turn, so multicast isn't. Mm -hmm. 
I could take Core Surge and try to hit Bias Cognition. Maybe we win like that. Like, take Core Surge, try to get Bias Cognition from Creative AI. Or Discovery. Turbo Heat Sinks is still a play. Sorry, this is a, this is a tough turn. I'm drawing three cards if I play Heat Sinks, right? So I can hologram whatever I want. I mean, Core Search is also a play, but... I got a, a lot of negative luck there. I gotta make sure I didn't kill myself. I'm very close to killing myself here. I think Recursion to Dark is en ends up being better. I mean, Lightning is still damage. There's a world where we du dual cast here just to save life. I think we just try to save life here, actually. Like, we do Hologram, dual cast, Electro. I think we don't care about Void as much. And I think we actually dual cast Electrodynamics. We're not an Echo anymore. No, we're not Echo. I use Turbo to get more energy. We're not Echo. I think Dual Catch is gonna block, and then we do Electro. Oh wait, yeah, I can't do that. I can't do that, I cannot do that. I can't do that, I can't do that. I can't do that. Cold snap, recursion, I mean... Maybe I'm not inclined to take out electro damage here. I don't really need to take it out. Recursion keeps our, our dark as a thing. Buffer again. We need frost though. So we don't we don't just buffer. We can always hologram into buffer, right? So I think we just do block block. Cold snap, cold snap, cool headed, cool headed. Do this first. Still play buffer at the end of this turn for if it's a if it's a big hit. The only problem is I think we're dying. I think we're dying to multi hit anyways, right? We just got we gotta push for lethal. That's the that's the important part. 
So pushing for lethal is really important. Keep in mind I have static discharge, so every time I take hits, I do a lot of damage. So if we can set up a static discharge lethal, that's probably what we gotta do. Where we take a hit and static discharge kills him. So we need to get him down to 200 life, or, or less, obviously. Okay, this is, this is really good. This is really good. The only downside is... The multi-hit is going to be brutal. How much are we looking at, the multi-hit? Like 90 damage? More static discharge can help me push for lethal. More static discharge helps you push for lethal. So if we can get him down to sub 200, and if he hits us once, right? Keep in mind, if I get more static discharge... Like, what if we do a lot of darkness and a lot of static discharge, and we try to just push for lethal now? And take some hits to the face. I think that's the only play we can do, right? So we just push all damage right now? I'm talking like Electro, ele like Storm, Storm, Electro, Electro. Like storm, Storm, Electro, Electro, that kind of stuff. Do we have another, uh, do we have another, Discord, uh, another, what's it called? Echo? What did I play? Storm, Storm, Electro, Electro. What else did I just play? Static Discharge. Okay, so we, we, we don't have any more Echo. What's the best play right now? That gets him so that I'm going for lethal next turn. When we take a hit, we're doing seven orbs. I could try to get out the void. Uh, go for the gap in the multi-hit. That's smart. I wonder if this was that 24 damage was worth it though. We should be fine, honestly. Okay. 97 damage. We just go all out here. Wait a minute, every every card that I play is risky. I can Emma turns and I win. It's 24 damage if he hits me. So now we win for sure. Oh god, that was a lot of thinking. Alright guys. So silent loss in the heart, defect won it. Not bad. Not bad. I, I overthought that a little bit. I was close though, I mean... It was definitely a little scary in that fight. A little scary.